Just days ago, you may remember, we were in the middle of a severe drought. Many of our crops starting to wilt and curl up because of a lack of rain. But then the rains came, and the question now is, did they come in time? Our Michael Gibson has the answer tonight. This is what much of our farms throughout the coastal bend look like right now, saturated in water. Some fields have turned into lakes. That's good and bad news, depending on which crops you're talking about. Here in Oasis County, our cotton crops are usually the biggest in the entire country. Now our, our cotton, because it's a, a little slower maturing and planted a little bit later, uh, this was a, really a, a tremendously beneficial rainfall uh, for our cotton crop and, and this should help uh, boost our yields uh, considerably. Jason Ott says Oasis County has planted some 40,000 odd acres of corn and it really felt the pressure of the lack of rain. The grain sorghum could have also used a shot in the arm a lot earlier. So there are some uh, benefits that the rainfall is going to provide all of these crops. But, you know, as far as, you know, a, a good benefit, a strong benefit uh, towards, you know, increasing the yield, we're probably not going to see that uh, in, in some of those earlier crops. Meanwhile, in San Patricio County, the county agent there is still cautiously optimistic after heavy rains hit that county as well. Well, the rains, the uh for the past two weeks had kind of filled in the gaps and, and made uh, uh, most of the crops in really, really good shape. Uh, we've got grain sorghum that's already turning. Uh, corn is probably already done, uh, may help with some fill. Uh, the cotton had gotten a drink and had really uh, started to uh, perform. But uh, with the excess amount that we've had this morning, uh, we just hope that it will uh, go ahead and drain off. Of course, most of the farming in the coastal bend is dry land. That means they depend on Mother Nature to supply the water. And in the business of agriculture, timing is everything. And the next few weeks should help to determine how this year's biggest cash crops fare. Michael Gibson, 3 News.